Alright, it's Marcus again and today I'm gonna teach you how to use geolayers in combination with uh, Trapcut Mirror to create like three dimensional landscapes and stuff. So what do we need for that? First of all, we need a comp of course. So I'm gonna do like a thousand by a thousand. It's good enough for me now. Um, I create an um, like a texture map and I'm gonna use Bing for it just for now I will shy those both layers um, of course if you want to publish the map you need to know that you always need to attribute your maps right uh, that's good for me this is my texture layer so let's call it texture again if I rename it after it was created just hit that button and there we go it's reconnected then we need some height data of course therefore create another composition call it height map and there's my height map composition and I put a geo layer inside that um, and call it uh, with the profile NASA height there we go, that's good for me. I just try this again. And what can we do with both of them? So, I'll create like, um, how? Yeah, there we go. A new comp. And this one I put my texture and my height map in. And of course, I want to have like a control layer right here. So, and uh, former screencasts I talked about the you no know, download profile and how I use it like as some kind of controlling stuff. So I just create one right here. Um, I shy everything because I just really needed to control all the other layers. So I go to my second one and link it to my control layer. I go to my third one and link it to my control layer. And I can now, by adapting the view of this first layer, I can now control both the texture and the height map. All right, so next thing, we need mirror. So I create a mirror layer, put like some gray on it. Um, mirror, there we go, trap cut mirror. And now, like this is a bit complicated, but there's just a few steps you need to do geometry pretty cool but what we want to do we have a thousand pixel comp so we want to have a thousand vertices that's cool size could be a thousand also there we go Fractal. There's some very interesting property that is amplitude layer. And this, for this property, I'm going to select my height map. Looks a bit weird right here, but you can see some you can see some stuff right here. So when I I could like zoom in a bit, probably right here, Colorado. Whatever you see that. It affected the mirror already but we want that the amplitude just affects Z space because we don't want to like have an offset in Y or X we just want Z so I set this to zero and I set this to zero this to zero this to zero and right now is just in Z space what next? Shader. Density. Yeah, I take flat right now. Um, I'm going to set this to normal because I don't want to like have a blending mode add. Um, next thing is the texture. And of course, the texture layer is my Bing layer. There we go. 
um, till I have an idea of, of what really happens, I'm going to create a camera and and null make that 3D, put the camera on that null and um, rotate this a bit like this. We actually don't need to see both of those layers. We just want our mirror layer to be shown. Is already if I change like the amplitude, see that something happens there. Our mountains are growing right there. I mean, this is like probably a bit exaggerated, but you know what I mean. And just to get like better, like better quality or something. Uh, there's a trick on the finalization. So if I hit now finalize and I'm on my no download layer, which is just like the control layer, uh, this would just do nothing, right? So if I click it, boom, download is disabled, all right? But when I hold down Alt and click this layer, it's going to finalize all the linked comps. To layer one so it's beginning with the height map right now it's finalizing height map downloading all the needed tiles placing them doing the zoom level blending let's go into the next level uh, the next layer the texture layer doing the same and there we go kind of like better resolution right I'm going to scale the mountains a bit down. Um, yeah, you can like control your map. You can do the animations you want. You can zoom. You can roll your camera around. You can do anything you want. So this is how you can connect it with mirror. You could, by the way, if you um, we put that one also to 3D, like your control your control layer, your layer win, you could also snap markers to that map right now. Right? So that's now a pretty cool snap to our 3D mirror map. All right, what we also need to do is um, connecting our amplitude to the current scale of the map. Because um, when I zoom in, the mountains are not scaled in relation to the scale of the map. See that? So the peaks seem higher than when you zoom in. Therefore, we need to expression this property. So before we do that, I'm going to open up GeoLayers 1 cup, put it somewhere here. There we go. And on the map pivot, you can find the property scale, which we need for our expression there we go expression this property expression pick whip the scale and just type in multiplied with its own value to keep it adaptable right now it looks pretty flat but um, when we have a closer look we can actually scale this up again just like that and right now when you zoom in the mountains are actually um, getting bigger. Let me zoom in just to show you and finalizing it. There we go. The mountains actually increase their height. Hope that covered some of your questions. Just try things out. It's fun.